I believe we are live. Hello there. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've turned into Dizzy. I've played Dizzy so much, I've turned into Dizzy. That's amazing. Not really, though. Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live. And we are once again attempting to play and complete fantastic dizzy on the mega drive now this is going to be a lot of fun i don't have the map that used to come with the game on the back of a poster but i have in in my head a kind of recollection of yesterday kind of probably good enough to actually get on also i have a controller and a pint of Diet Coke and a burning desire to complete this game. So shall we do it? Let's get ready to retro! <laughs> I'm a uh, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today, what can I say? Let's get straight into it. Beep beep. We're gonna play. <gasps> Daisy has been captured by the evil wizard Zax. Only Dizzy is brave and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe that. I just. <coughs> oh, while trying to do it, a dramatic voice, I choked on my own saliva. That's terrible. Oh. <coughs> I'm just dying off already. This is the way to start, isn't it? My goodness. So let's get into it. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Immediately, I'm going to have to have a drink of Coke. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have 250 stars to get. Wow, that took my breath away. <laughs> so, we have Dizzy's door key because Dizzy has locked himself in his own house and then hidden his own... Do you think Dizzy was drunk? Am I recording? Uh, yes, I am. I set the recording off, so that's okay. So, let's get on with the game. Who have we got in the chat while we're here? <laughs> we have uh, Sir Patrick Furlong. Hello to Sir Patrick. Hello to Daryl Hearn. Hello to Retro Mickey 82 And do we have anyone else? Uh, that appears to be the limit for today for the moment, so I'll say hi if anyone else turns up. Oh my goodness, I am out of breath already. That really took my breath away in the, in the wrong manner. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Let's get on though. Where, don't dizzy. Don't put things down. Don't accident. Whose key is that? That is the key for Denzel's elevator. So we've got a plank of wood and Denzel's elevator key. Shall we go and find Denzel first? Since we've got his elevator key. It says six people. Yes, but they haven't all talked. Ah, we can't do Denzel's elevator yet because. That would require us to actually be able to get there safely. So we're going to drop down and drop off some stuff. Drop his key there. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to seeing how far we can get. I really hope today we can finish this game. I have a good feeling about it. It's like proper strong feeling. You know? A determination. We're go we're, I'm determined to uh, actually manage this. That'll be good. Is that a word? I've just created a word. We have determinized ourselves. Yes, we have. It's a real word. Yes, it is. <laughs> right. All that came down. Whoa! Did that man? Uh, did that butterfly knock us backwards? Wow. Grab that. Because I came down here to get that mushroom. I know we're going to need it later, along with the spray. So I'll grab the uh, uh, star while we're here. Two hundred and thirty-eight to go. Uh, a new word for a new country, says uh, Retro Mickey. Well, actually, I did invent my own country. Um, it was a joke on a podcast about the EU. If they could invent a country out of whole cloth, then I could invent one too. So I invented Colandia and decided I was the queen of it. <laughs> and then I gave uh, Patrick a knighthood from it. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. It, it, the country's still there. You can go and have a look at it. I just don't do anything with it. <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> Oh, the things we do just for a, a quick laugh. So what we've got there is the key for the ground elevator. So let's set that off. And then we'll use that to... Uh... Ah, Retro Mickey says that's why he said it. Fair enough. We will uh, go up and uh, use the spray to get uh, this uh, snappy plant dealt with. And then we're going to go and get the stuff from the cave that we need. 
because that's the kind of dizzy egg that we are. Oh my goodness, I'm... Uh, uh, this weather is killing me off, man. It's terrible. I hope you're, uh, you guys are okay today and we're, we're all determinized. <clears throat> it's a new word for a new millennium. Ow! Oh dear. Right, so let's go and get the key. Since we're here. Is this the way we... No, it isn't the way we need to go. So we'll go this way. Boing, There's the key. Because for some reason, Grand Dizzy's uh, lift key is in a mine. A very strange set of circumstances. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. I really am sorry. Up and down and across. Let's get up to the top. Yes, and... Oops. And jump across. <clears throat> Daryl Hearn says he's traumatised because retro games and railways keep him broke. I know the feeling. Oh my goodness, uh, I found out that the works uh, had a couple of uh, Starlink uh, things that I didn't have, so I, I had to buy them. <laughs> if anyone knows uh, uh, what Starlink is, it's that uh, collectible game where you can buy the ships and things, and uh, they, they add extra bits to your game, and I have basically picked up two of those from the works, so I'm looking forward to them arriving, but they haven't yet. So, got my, uh, got a lot of anticipation for that because it'll be nice. I do have a couple already, but I want some more, basically, so I can play more. Then we've got Denzel's key and the key for Grand Dizzy's elevator now. Patrick says he's overspent on retro. He has to put off getting a Mega Drive 1 Scar lead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Uh, really sorry to hear that. <laughs> Logan Clary, hello to Logan Clary, how you doing? Real locomotives are cheaper these days. To be honest with you, yeah, a little bit. Hello to Continuum Trek, how are you doing? For those of you who aren't uh, familiar, this is uh, Conti from A Question of Trek, the podcast and uh, uh, quiz show that I'm on tonight at half past 11 GMT. So definitely check that out because it's going to be a lot of fun. And happy birthday, Conti. Happy birthday to you, you live in the zoo, you smell like a monkey, and you act like one too. That's the traditional uh, birthday song, I believe I got the words right there. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good day, Conti. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Patrick. Jen already knows about uh, the cost of locomotives. She has eyed one up before, in fact. Last time I was, we were down at a uh, steam uh, show, she asked how much it was uh, to get a new locomotive built, and it was a little bit out of our price range, by a couple of million pounds, <laughs> but uh, you never know, one day. <laughs> well, at least you've got the scarf for your Mega Drive 2, so you can play that. So we're going to try and set off. Uh... We can't uh, set this off, can we? So I'm going to put down all of Grand Dizzy's stuff here. Because that's Denzel's uh, place, isn't it? Grab that. Yeah. So we're going to go back now and get all the stuff for Denzel. Is this his key? Whose key is this? Daisy's key. Buy a Gronk, Zoe. They're always... Yeah, there's stuff bigger than the space I've got available, though, <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> I'm not made of space. So I need to go and get the key that we left down uh, at the bottom now. But that's okay, because we're very near it. And basically, this is dizzy. It's a lot of walking backward and forward. But it's well worth it, because the game is fun. <clears throat> would Jenny have a real carriage built if you two had the money? Jen would have a real train built if we had the money. And a, a lot of track to run it on, because 
it's her love. The same way that I love retro, she adores trains. So yeah, I think she definitely would. And she'd probably have it lined down with a train set in it so that she could do uh, live streams from it. That's That that would probably uh, be her thing. And then, uh, yeah, I, I think we could uh, have a, a, a good... Uh, a good show of it. Uh, Jenny Kirk on tour, literally. <laughs> oh my goodness, Retro Mickey. I'm so sorry to hear that. There we go. We've got a Denzel's house now. So, boing, 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 boing. hello to Denzel. Let's check him out. Uh, Denzel wanted to be cool, so Zax granted his wish and froze him in ice while he swam. Now he needs your help. Yeah, because that's Denzel for you, the cool dude. So we've got, uh, whose key have we got? Daisy's. But Daisy's uh, house is further down the street. Hello to Jenny, how are my, you doing? My ears were burning. Well, you should look at the, see a doctor for that. That's not a good thing. There's Daisy's house. Oh, we've fallen past Daisy's house. No. So are you talking about me? I heard my name. Yeah, we were talking about uh, would you have a carriage built if you had the money? A what, train carriage. What, a real one? Yes. What, and go around the country in it? Yes. Jenny Kirk on tour. Oh, well, of course. See, I... guys, I told you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want uh, all, all the schmucks in the same carriage as me. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean I wouldn't be allowed in? <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> Not travelling with the poor people. <laughs> Yee, I know. To think, oh, I do all of your editing for you. I made you who you are. We'd have a special baggage carriage that you could sit in and do the editing. <laughs> Carry a bag, let her work. <laughs> oh, look, it's raining on that screen. Yeah, I'm hoping it won't damage the electronics too much. Ooh, right. Well, I was thinking of possibly going upstairs. Well, you do that. What you do? You're trashing Daisy's house? Yes. Look at that. You're stealing stuff off her shelves. Yeah, but only to make sure that we can rescue her. We have stuff that we need. So I'm going to dump the uh, cage there. And this is uh, Dozy's door key, right? So uh, we go this way now and drop off here. What are you doing? Uh, Jen, would you do me a favour? Would you, uh... I've forgotten what I wanted. Never mind. <laughs> Everyone says hi, Jenny. Jenny says hello. She's a bit distracted at the moment because she's thinking about trains. She's thinking about her choo-choos. So, now we go up uh, here. <coughs> So, uh, we are going to now try and jump over to the... Uh, oh, no, I've just been hurt by the horrible, horrible spider. Um, there's a key, but it's not the one I wanted, so I'm going to jump over here. Jump up, Dizzy. Jump up. Yes, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Dizzy. You can do it. You are good, Dizzy. Yes, you are. Continuing tricks says I'd already be going nuts with this game. It, it requires a certain mindset, I'll give it that. So, now we have Grand Dizzy's lift working. Oh, there's some fruit, we need that to keep the damage down. Notorious G Diz. So, we've opened up the uh, door there, we can now talk to Grand Dizzy. Hello, Grand Dizzy. Poor old Grand Dizzy, he's very ill and has run out of medicine. He asks you to make him some more. <laughs> And he does it in that voice as well, you see. So, we already know what the medicine's like, so we can chuck the mushroom in there. And then get, let's go and uh, get Grand Dizzy well again. Get the way, spider! There is the uh, bottle that we need. Across from there. Now we need to go and find the flower, which is actually quite nearby. We just walked past it because we didn't have any room left in the inventory. So we have to go and find that now. There it is. There's the flower. So while we're here, we might as well get this star and have a look up here and see what's there. Another star. Yeah. Another star. And 
Another lift key. Which one is this? This is for Dylan's elevator, which is nearby. So we'll come back to that once we've done Grand Dizzy. Do -do -do -do. Patrick's given up on KFC. Oof. I did that a long time ago, what with being a vegetarian. So... <laughs> Yeah, KFC has a tendency to smell a little bit. I, I think it's just the, the way they process the meat with all those herbs and spices. Chuck the bottle in, because you put, because in Dizzy's World, you put the flask that you're going to use to store the potion into the potion cauldron while you're making it, and then it throws it back out. It's like, no, we don't run none. And there we go. Grand Dizzy's eyes light up as he drinks the medicine, which tells me that actually he's asking you to brew him some special brew. He offers you the treasured golden egg that he found in the diamond mine. So, talk to Grand Dizzy again. Grand Dizzy cannot help you anymore. He asks you not to waste any time and to hurry along and rescue Daisy. So, we'll take the egg and we'll take, I believe, is that Dylan's? Yeah, Dylan's elevator. And there's the extra star that I forgot about buying. Doof. So there's lots of fruit in here. If we need fruit to heal ourselves later on, then we need to do that. We need to go there. So I'm going to leave the, the egg next to Grand Dizzy's, and then we're going to head back down, because there was a spare key that we've actually missed. So we're going to wander back down. A lot of walking around in these dizzy games, but what can you do, eh? That's the nature of the game. Boink. And... Over here. Get the way, spoiler. And what's this? Whose key is that? Dora's door key. We need Dora's door key, because she's the first one we can rescue. Boink. Well, actually, she's the second one, since we've just done uh, Grand Dizzy. <coughs> <coughs> Oops. Ah, now we need to eat fruit because we are very badly damaged now. Oh my goodness. Do -do 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 -do. What system are we playing on, asks Conti. Uh, this is the Sega Mega Drive. So, I'm going to walk off here. Because I think that's how you get to the other platform. No, it isn't. Oh, there's one where we just have to walk off a platform. I think this might be it. That's it. It is. It really is. There's the other key that we needed. So, what have we got now? We have Dozy's door key, Dora's door key, and the key to Dylan's elevator. Where are they? They're further up. So, if we go back up, boing, 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 then we need to uh, get around. So, we've got Denzel. We're up at Denzel's place now. jump across. I have a feeling that we won't be able to get any further unless we get the uh, the rope, which we didn't bring up because I didn't think we needed it. But we might need it. So we'll see what happens anyway. We'll go up. <coughs> <coughs> it's the platform above where I walked off. Yeah, I thought it might be. So we'll just, we'll, we'll just go back up here. There we go. Mm. So I'm just going to stop for a second. Where, where are my tissues? There they are. I hope you guys are doing well. There's, there's a lot of talk about diabetes in the chat. I'm really sorry for everyone who's got it. It's not, it's not the nicest. Thankfully, it's not something I, I have to worry about at the moment, even though I have spent the last year or so eating lots and lots of sweeties, mainly due to boredom. Lockdown has not been great in that respect. None of these keys are for Dylan. Okay, but that is for his elevator, so at least we've got that. Boink. So, we've got Dora and Dozy's keys, haven't we? Accidentally uh, stood in the wrong place there. Grab that fruit. And then gently walk off here. Which 
try not to go too far and then jump across there and grab that weight. So are we healthy enough? Yeah, we've got no damage at the moment, so we're okay. Yeah, depression is not a good thing. And to be honest with you, lockdown has caused an awful lot of people who didn't have it before to start exhibiting symptoms of depression just due to being stuck in the house all the time. It's been a horrible time for people. It really has. And uh, you all have my sympathy for that. I've, it's really awful. I'm doing my best to try and entertain people by doing the live streams, but uh, <laughs> I know it's only a very, very minor thing, you know? There we go. So that's down. So we go up here now. <coughs> 204 so far. There's Dozy's house. Use the key. And there's Dozy opened up. Uh, where is he? There he is. So, let's talk to Dozy. Dozy can't talk to you right now. He's in a very deep sleep. Maybe you should try to wake him up. Right, we need to get up there to get that uh, star. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Doink and bunk. And grab the star. 201 left. So we're doing all right. We've, we've picked up 49 of them so far. And drop down there. This is on a Zoom meeting with Sonic. <laughs> right, with Dora's house. We're in Dora's house now. So where is she? There she is. Uh... Oh no, Dora's been turned into a green frog by the evil wizard Zax. Can you help break his evil magic? Yes, I can. Don't worry, Dora, you strange little frog woman. We are going to uh, get you better by giving you to a prince to snog. Because that's the type of thing that Dizzy does. Um, I think Siri just tried to jump in on the conversation there. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I got distracted by Siri. Oops. Oh, well, well, we've lost one life. Hopefully we won't lose any more. I've got to try and get past these dudes, you see. And gently walk off the edge here. Because I think there's another plant. Yes, there is. There we go. And we need the rope for a swing there, so we'll have to come back to that later. There is our thing yeah. out. Okay, Siri is uh, constantly joining in on the chat now. So I'm just going to uh, remove the microphone. There we go. <clears throat> Where's Diddy? There he is. So we've got the star that was there. We're now going down this way. The other star, 194 left. So, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Do we need any help? No, we're fine. <gasps> Look at the picture of Dora Frog there. Dora, who has been turned into a frog. Like, oh! <laughs> so, now we're going to go all the way back down. I think we've got all of the, of the uh, stars that are in this area that we can access so far. There will be others, but we'll have to get the rope for those, and we haven't got that yet, because it's on the way back down. Give uh, Denzel the uh, straw so that we can sort that out later, and while we're here, we'll pick up some fruit. Oh, no, Dizzy, jump the right way. Come on. Boing, 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 boing. Grab the fruit. Yes. So only a very little bit of uh, damage so far. Now we need to get the rope because uh, that's very important. <coughs> For the next part of our uh, adventure, doink. Oops. 
get further down. And keep walking, keep walking. Yes, that's right. There's Pogi. Jump over, get the uh, rope, because we're going to need that later. Get the star. And head down to the bottom now. So. There we are. Uh, the prince kisses the frog and instantly Dora returns. He is so pleased he gives you his crossbow. Because apparently medieval weaponry is a very important thing to give to someone when you're happy to see them. Don't ask me why, I don't make the rules. So we've got the big chunk of ham. We're going to give that to Armorog before we forget. There he goes. And grab all of the uh, stars on the way over to here. But we're not going to go... Ah! Get off! Get off, spoiler! <coughs> so, now we've got the rope, we're going to go back up. Oh, I forgot the, s the snail there. We're now going to go back up into the trees to see what else we can uh, deal with up here using the rope. Like grabbing that extra life for a start. Hello to Jenny Kirk. How are you doing? It's good to see you, Jenny. My uh, darling wife. Who we totally weren't talking about earlier on. Honest. We... We did not make any kind of comment about you, and uh, certainly didn't say that you're obsessed with trains and live, would love to live in a, a train carriage if you were allowed. Certainly didn't say any of that. <laughs> oh, we do like to tease. Right, we're going to jump up here. Oh, Dizzy, jump up, man. Come on. Oof. Right, this is not the right one. Yes, we we did. I, I know we did, Jen. <laughs> I can't get anything past Jen. She's too uh, quick. <laughs> so, we're going to try and uh, use the, the rope uh, swing now. Apparently, we're in the wrong place there. So, we're going to swing. Kind of uh, timed it wrong, but never mind. What's up here? And what can we do about it? It looks like we didn't need to swing there, but okay. So where is the next swing that we need? Is it over here? Yes, it's over here. So I'm going to wait for that spider to go up. And swing over and land here. Do -do 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 -do. So, we now need to do the sliding puzzle because it'll give us the extra life back that we accidentally lost when Siri distracted us. I don't like sliding tower puzzles, but we'll do it just because we have to. And that's kind of how this works. Let's get uh, Theo's face in the right place. Dizzy in the right place. Dizzy's feet are in the wrong place. Uh, that needs to come down. Go across. And that needs to come down. And that needs to go across. And that needs to go up. That needs to come across, and that needs to come across as well. So now we're getting into the right positions. There we are. And Patrick says, there's a swing near Dylan's house to get his key. Yes, that's the one I'm missing, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to go and get Dylan's key now that we've got uh, the extra life that we needed. Walk gently off there. We should stay... Nope, we're back down at the bottom. Okay. Why did I jump up there? I knew we was going back up. 
And up. Get fruit. Oh, Dizzy, get the fruit. Come on, we need the fruit because you're ill. Now get the fruit, Dizzy. Come on. Silly egg. There, we've got the fruit. So now he's happy again. Now we need to go up and up. Hello to Linz. Hope you're well. Uh, I got a game for Valentine's Day. Oh, very nice. Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh, that is wonderful. Well done. Congratulations. That is a very nice uh, gift that you've got there. That's what we're looking at. I'm just going to quickly check back in the uh, chat. Uh, where is it? Uh, Hmm. I'm trying to find what. So we're near Dylan's house, and I'm at Denzel's, so we need to go further down, don't we? Further up, even. Right, we need to find Dylan's house. Which is not always the easiest thing to do when the, this place is a uh, mess. <laughs> Daryl says, I gave Lynn's the game last longer than flowers. Yes, they do. So you, you've, you've done very well. I can see that uh, you're going to be in the good books there. <laughs> it's an excellent game, though. Heard very good reviews on that one. Boink. And across. Where is Dylan's house? Getting lost again, aren't I? Up we go. There's Dylan's house. There's the, th the swing, right. There's, there's the key, even. So if we go over here... I'm going to try and walk slightly off here, see if I can land somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And up. Then swing across. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing the Tarzan impression and all that. There we go. So, Dylan's house. In we go. Now, Dylan wants to look after Pogi the Fluffle, doesn't he? Come on, talk to Dylan. Since Daisy's disappearance, Dylan wants to look after Pogi, but he's unable to catch him. Perhaps you could help. Well, we've got a, we've got the cage for catching Pogi, but we haven't managed to do uh, anything else. So I think we've now got everything we need, haven't we? The last of the ropes. We'll just go further up and make sure. But I think we've got everything we need now, because there aren't any more swings, and Dora's pretty much at the top. Well, there is another piece of, uh, of step ladder. Uh, not rope, step ladder, rope ladder. So, um, hmm. Let's roll up here and see what's up here. Dozy lives at the top. I thought uh, Dora lived at the top. Get that, get it. Um, right, so yeah, apparently that is the last of it. We've got right to the top now. So we're going to drop off. And further down. We'll see what else happens. Looks like we are at the... We've got all the way through it, so we're all right then. We need to find the... Uh... We now need to find what we can use for bait to get uh, Pogi the Fluffle into the thing. But we're also going to have to do the other stuff. So, let's have a look around. Boink. Do, 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 do. There's the uh, wrench that we're going to need for setting the lift off and working down in the mine. And then we go down to here. There's the pickaxe, which could be useful. And apparently that's a uh, rust-proof one, so I'm assuming we're going to use it in this water. So I'm going to leave it there. So, anyway, we've got the uh, the wrench. That's uh, Treasure Island Dizzy's area there. 
This is really uh, greatest hits. We're going to go back into the mine now. Now we could use the axe and get down in there, but he, Dizzy will get hurt badly, so perhaps we should wait for the aqua long. So we'll probably do that instead as well. All right, now we're going down here. And across, because that's where the mechanism is. Set that off. Now the lift works. Hello to the Zamu, how are you doing? And doing... Boink. Across and down. Just use the cage on Pergy, says Patrick. I tried that, I, need... I must have timed it wrong then, because we tried that yesterday and it didn't work. Alright, well, we'll try and find Pergy later on. Jump across here. Uh, essentially, I'm just walking around and making sure we've got the lay of the land and got all the stuff that we need. Does that exit work? We cannot go in there. Hmm. Yeah, everyone's talking about the Switch and how great it is. I have to get one. I've played it at my uh, sister's house with, uh, with my nieces. We were all playing Mario Kart. We had a great time, I have to admit. So, I do fancy getting a Switch, but uh, the cost is uh, not something I can justify right now, given that I spend all of my money on retro stuff for the museum project, but uh, eventually I'll get one. Alright, we're going to grab all of these uh, 172 stars left to go. <laughs> so many stars, so little time. Right, is there anything else down here? I've been playing more on my C64 recently, though. I have to get mine repaired, I really do. The SID chip has gone. We've uh, we've established that the SID chip doesn't work, it's gone. So I'll have to sort that out. But I do enjoy the... I think I've said that before. I do really enjoy the Commodore 64. More than I expected to, because it's one of those things. I have no nostalgia for it. You'd have thought I would, but uh, only two people I knew when I was a kid had one. Everyone else had the Amstrad or the Spectrum, so... My nostalgia and my love of uh, retro comes from the Amstrad and the Spectrum. But when I got my C64C, it's a gorgeous machine, and typing on it is wonderful. It's a nice experience. So I've kind of fallen in love with it. I really do love it. And I certainly want the SID chip to work. But uh, that's a project for another day. It'll happen. I just haven't got through yet. Only one person I knew had one, that was my brother, says Patrick. Oh, wow. Daryl says he re regrets getting rid of his plus four. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a real shame. Right, we're going to go back out and... Oops. Didn't mean to pick that up, but never mind. I think we've got everything we can from down here so far. So, I'm going to go and drop off this axe at the right position, but not jump into the uh, water because I don't want to end up with a, a mess of dizzy uh, drowning. So we'll leave that there for the moment until we've got the aqua lung and later on. Right, let's uh, go back up and see what else we can get. Unfortunately, sometimes that happens, Patrick. Uh, at the end of the day, being able to live is more important than uh, the retro stuff, no matter how much it hurts us. Sad but true. So, we're going to go over to the town now. And hopefully I won't accidentally drown Dizzy in the waterfall this time. Because that was a bit of a silly experience yesterday, wasn't it? Oof. Yeah, I'm sad... I I know what you mean, Patty, but what can you do, eh? It's, it's, what's done is done. And we can't look back, we've got to just keep going forward, that's just how it is. Oops. Right, we need to wait for that to come out. The, the barrel, there it is. And across, there we are. Oof. So, yeah, managed it there, Patrick. So we're we're doing okay. So let's move this over, and move that over as well. And then get this into the corner on the top, and move that down. Cro 
cross, up, cross, cross, and across again. That is the bottom corner, so let's move that down. And there's Dizzy's feet. So Dizzy's sorted there. That needs to come across and down. And that goes across. That goes up. And that goes across. There we go. So now we have some extra lives. We're doing okay. We can hope that we're getting through it. But to be honest with you, given how long this game is, and the fact that I don't actually know how the rest of the game plays out that much, uh, we could be here a while. <laughs> is this the, where the troll is? Yes. So we give the troll the cash, and then he leaves. And he leaves very, very slowly. So, we're going up to Crystal... Uh, sorry, we come from Crystal Falls, we're into Bridge Street. I don't like this area because of the random nature of uh, the movements in the tunnels. But uh, we'll get through it. Crowbar! Did I get the crowbar? Yes, I did. Doing, doing. to find some fruit pretty quick. There is the barrel of ale that we need. So we're going back in here because there was fruit. There we are. Not quite so damaged now, so we're going up to uh, Castle Street. And the reason we're going to Castle Street is to give the booze to the pirate via this tunnel here. So. We've got the uh, map here which tells us where everything is and uh, which direction. So we're here and we're going down to Pirate Ship. But we have to get past all of these randomly moving uh, creatures which are very annoying. But we'll, we've managed it so far. So as long as we stay calm and don't get so uh, angry as I did yesterday with these things, we should be alright. Going throw the beer at the pirate, he leaves. Then we get onto the ship. Now this is the bit I didn't like because it's very difficult to actually maneuver in some of these areas. It's very small. I am stuck. See what I mean? Very small. Let's get onto top of there and jump. Lots of stars though, so we need those. How much uh, damage have we got? We don't need to get the uh We don't need to get the fruit just now. I'm trying to get all the stars. I'm gonna walk across the top and see what's there first. Right, so I see where we are now. And jump. So it's a bit of a maze. We're gonna get through, we'll be alright. Patrick says the rope is used with the sail. So oh, I should have brought the rope with me then. Oh well. Never mind, we will get that in a minute. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's uh, jump and down here. Oh, wow, there's lots and lots of areas here. Jump across that and up. And there we are. What's this? Nothing. Okay. So, how are we doing? Very strong crowbar, a little bit of damage. But we've got a lot of stars, and that's kind of what counts. Down here, more stars. Gotta be... Ah! Oh, landed on the guy. It's okay, though. We can do this. We can do this. So move that across, no, wait for that to move across, down even further, wow there's even more space, there's huge amounts of stars in here though. We need fruit, we need to eat fruit, where can we find some fruit, what's that? Is that a set of matches? Has the game crashed? Um, 
Guys, has the game just crashed? Um. Oh dear. Controls switch to uh, TV tuner mode. Nothing there. Switch back to composite video. Guys, um, the game's crashed. I'm not joking. The game has crashed. It's still playing the music, but nothing works. I didn't even know it was possible to do that. <laughs> um, I've pressed start, Patrick. Has a cable come up? We'll, we'll check, but it seems a bit uh, coincidental that it's happened at the time that I pressed a button just as we were changing the screen. Nope, cables are all plugged in. No connections have come loose. The cables are all still in. Wow. Um, there's only one thing for it, guys. We have to start again. We have no option. We have to start again. So, 45 minutes in. Let's try again. <laughs> Daisy has been captured by the evil wizard Zax. Blah, 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 blah. Dizzy sets out on his greatest adventure. Blah, blah, blah. So, let's do it. Let's see if we can get through this. So now we know that we need to take the rope with us when we go to town because uh, we need to use it on the pirate ship. So, let's get on. Oh dear, Retro Mickey says, where's the hammer? Yeah, I kind of feel like that at the moment. Whose key is this again? That is Denzel's key, yeah. Okay, we're going to drop Denzel's key off by Dizzy's house. And then head on, so... Oh my goodness. Oh, I've just got the joke! Dozy's at the top of the, the trees because he's asleep. rock a -bye baby on the treetop. I've just got the joke! <laughs> oh, I'm easily pleased, I know. So, done that. Zoe, I need some motivation to open my packages. Okay. Patrick, 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 Patrick. Open, 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 open. <laughs> Come on. We need to see what's there. Come on, let's let's do it. Uh, open those Patrick uh, pack packages, Patrick. Or oh, packages. Come on. Drum roll. Let's do it. Let's see what's in those packages. Make yourself happy there. Come on. <laughs> open sesame. Or as I used to say, open says me. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So there's the uh, thing with Jake. Are there any more uh, stars over this way? Yes, there are. We have the stars from from the pirate ship. Why did I jump down there? No, go back up, Dizzy. Come on. Oh my goodness. Dizzy, don't hold your breath like that, sir. Well, I actually do hold your... Oh! 
Frank Bruno World Championship Boxing by Encore. Very nice. The CPC's version of Punch-Out, as I recall. That's a good package, good start. So what's next? Atari ST Scart Lead, excellent. You've definitely been needing one of those, so well done there. Excellent. So we've got the mushroom that Grand is he's going to need, and we've got the thingamajig that thingy wants. So we're going to now use three is Super Mario 3D World on Switch with limited edition steelbook. Oh, very very nice. That sounds amazing. So you're in for a treat there. Okay, we're going to leave the uh... no mushroom for Grand Dizzy there for the moment. We're now going to go and have a look around. Oops. Grab that key, which I think we'll need very quickly. Is that, yeah, Denzel's door key. Yes, the steel book, very posh, very nice. Boink. Add up. Already completed on the Wii U. Oh, nice. This is Daisy's day there, Daisy's house. So we don't need the there yet. And grab that star. Do you think I could find a plus four machine for these days? Uh yes, there are plus four still around. You should be able to find one. because we need Grand Dizzy's key, don't we? Also completed Winter Waker HD on me. Very nice. So, we're going to leave some keys here. That is Grand Dizzy's key that we've got, isn't it? Yes. So now we're going to go down into the depths of the mine to get Grand Dizzy's key because we've got his other key and we can start sorting out these people. Number four's cannon fodder on a CD32. Oh, very, very nice. Is that the one that's got the uh, the video uh, intro? I think that's what it is. Grab the wrench because we're going down into the mines now. <laughs> There's Grand Dizzy's key, so we can now go and sort out Grand Dizzy. I think it's the one that's got the uh, slightly enhanced intro with the, the pictures, uh, uh, where one of the guys is pretending to be Via Berlin or something. Number five is Magic Land Dizzy on SD. Oh, very, very nice. So you, you're in for a Dizzy treat this weekend, aren't you? And jump, yes. Where have I left Grand Dizzy's key? Oh, good grief. Why do I do this to myself? Get the key. Get his key. Is it next to the... Yes, it is. Grab the key. Let's go back. I am recording this, aren't I? Yes, so everyone's going to be able to see how badly I did there. And up we go. And up we go again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And across we've got to do Grand Dizzy. Hopefully this uh, finishing this game won't take us quite as long as the original Dizzy did. Which was what, two, three weeks? 
Oh my goodness, we had such a time. Oh, that's the wrong way. We've gone the wrong way. Someone paid $7.99 at WH Smiths for it. Wow, that's not a bad price for, for a Magic Land Dizzy on the ST. So, let's jump up here and go and... No, let's go back down and get the mushroom that I've left behind because we're sorting out for Grand Dizzy, aren't we? There we are. Star Wars Rebel Strike GameCube promo disc. Oh my goodness! Wow, you've done well there. The only uh, GameCube promo disc I have is uh, Star Fox... Uh, I think it's Star Fox Adventures or something. Where it has a, a, it's basically just a DVD telling you about the game that you've ordered. Which is nice, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but hey. Okay, so we need to jump across now. And get further up. Oops. Not bad, not a bad price for what it is, Patrick. That's pretty good, well done. Right, this is uh, Dylan's area, isn't it? So we can't get any further until we get his uh, thing sorted out. So I've got to go back down now. As a playable level plus arcade version of Star Wars Nip. Wow! That's really cool. That is really, really cool. Who's Whose keys have I got here? Denzel and Daisy. Excellent. So I need to go back down a little further and set off Denzel's... Uh, Thingamajig, which I think we've left over here. There it is. Yeah, Denzel's elevator. So we need to go back up now. Boink. And boink. Yeah, I'm really impressed. That demo disc has... Uh, Better, promo disc even, has better stuff on it than uh, the one I've got, which is just a DVD about Star Fox. It's like, here's some information about the game that you've bought. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather play a bit of the game, mind. So, Denzel. So, yeah, so drop his key off. Which key was that, anyway? Can't remember. Right, we, we now need to deal with Grand Dizzy. So, number seven, Pub Trivia on. That's not a game I'm, I'm familiar with, I have to admit. No, I don't, no, I don't need the inventory, come on. Talking to Denzel. Blah, 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 blah. So jump across and grab the star, and then let's head back out to deal with Grand Dizzy. Oh, it's a Codemasters one. Still not one I'm familiar with. I, they they did a lot of games that I just bypassed, I think, isn't the best word. Just wasn't really aware of them, you know? Jump up and across. There we go. And grab that star and then head up. I may have gone the wrong way. Uh, in fact, I'm certain I've gone the wrong way here. Yeah, I have. Okay, we're going back because it's the wrong way. And down and across. Ah, missed. Interesting, that doesn't do the usual thing until you talk to him. So there we are. Is there an extra star in it? Yes, there is. So, star and 
back out. So let's go and sort out the uh, mixture that we need. You got rid of your Amiga! Oh my goodness! What is it with people uh, and telling people to get rid of their hobby stuff? I, I, I've, I've never understood that. Oh, let's get through this. To be honest with you, Daryl, it sounds like you made the right choice there. <laughs> Shouldn't say that, but you know, come here. Right, so uh, he's giving us the egg. We'll talk to him again. And he just tells us to bugger off and uh, do stuff. So let's grab the egg while we're here. And we'll drop that outside his house so that we know where it is. So now we need to go and get some more keys. Now we've seen a few keys around, so... Let's have a look and see if we can find them again. Down here, and of course, and I believe there is a key at the end of this road. Yes, there is. So, pick it up, Dizzy, come on. So, what have we got here? It is Dylan's lift key. There's Dylan. Here's his lift. back down and we need to go further over here because I believe that there is another key at the other end of all of this or perhaps not um hmm right we've got 50 of the stars so far we're doing all right as long as the game doesn't crash we should be able to get through it See you soon, Retro Mickey. Boink, and boink, and down. Number eight is your repair, Atari. Excellent. Well done. Congratulations. Where is the key that? There, it's down there, isn't it? I've dropped, I need to drop down one more. So, who have we got now? Dora's door key. Right, well, we can deal with Dora. Grab the fruit. Jump over the snail. Jump over the spider. Jump off here and go across. Do, 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 do. Go up. I'm going to deal with Dora first. Because there's. There we are, up here. And grab the star. Oh, it's a long and wandering game, isn't it? So we're going to very, very carefully walk off the end here. Yes, and then across. Grab the weight. Go back up. And have a look up here in case there's another key. Don't believe there is, but there's Dora's house. So, actually, we went the right way for a change. There's Dora. Uh, nothing over there. Let's go in here. Grab Dora the frog. Blah, 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 blah. Grab the star. And walk carefully off here, just in case. No, we can't get there until we've got the uh, row. So that's okay. We're, we're doing okay for the moment. Let's go and use this uh, thingy over here. Am I going the right way? No. I must have gone the wrong way. Okay, let's go back up. 
and uh, use the uh, that we just need to go up there right okay if we go this way now we should be able to find uh, yeah there it is what, don't drop the frog grab the frog jump across and up and up and up 192 stars left we're getting there So we don't have Dozy's uh, thingamajig yet. Go back down. Jump across and walk off here. Ah! And down here. Because we should at some point find. Find this the prince. There he is. Talk to the prince, give him Dora the frog. Blah 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 blah. He gives us a crossbow. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we need to go and sort out the rest of the yoke folk. Got to be in it to win it, yes. Well I'm not actually technically in the game, I am controlling it. But I am not an egg, I'm not a yoke folk. <laughs> Hit the rope this time and go back up. And across here and jump and down. Right, so, so essentially we're using the rope to sort out some of the things and get all the bits that we need now. I'm just making sure that I haven't missed any stars as we do it. We need to get the last few uh, keys now. Oh, Dizzy! Oh, silly egg. Jump up! Jump across! Oh, for goodness sake, Dizzy! You did it fine last time! Now the pressure's on, you can't go! Swing! Yes. You did send me the spectrum, yes. Thank you so much, Patrick. It was very much appreciated. There's a key. That's the one. Yes. Go in there and uh, quickly check our inventory. Daisy's door key. Right. That's okay. So we're going to drop off the uh, straw in here. Go back out. And where is our next one? There it is. So if we wait for the spider to go up a bit, yeah. We'll now land here. Excellent! Which means we get to do the sliding tower puzzle. Ah, and I get to put my knee out. So nice. Oh dear. So. Wow. Okay, we move that across, and that across, and that across. Down, and down, down, across. That up, and that up, and that across, then down. Dizzy is now almost done. There's his uh, foot. And across and across and up, across. Um, move that across to there, down, and down, across, and up. There we go. Welcome back, Retro Mickey. How are you doing? So now we have three lives. We're doing fine so far. We're okay so far. And jump across, because we have Daisy's door key now. Which means we should be able to get the, the cage for Pokey the Fluffle. And according to Sir Patrick, we have, um, all we have to do is use the, the cage on Pogi to catch him. And then we can deal with, uh, Denzel as well, can't we? Or is it Dylan? I think it might be Dylan. Yeah, it's Dylan. Denzel's the, the one that's frozen. So if we just use Daisy's key, 
walked into the spider instead of jumping over him. Not a very good move there. Have I walked past Daisy's house? No, that's Daisy's house, isn't it? Yeah, there's Daisy's house. Right, in we go. Grab. Grab and grab. I believe that's the final key we're going to need as well. Why does that flask stand out to me as odd? Nope, it's, it's just part of the background. Okay, that's fine. Right, if we see Pokey the Fluffle, we'll have to grab him as well. I haven't seen Pokey for ages. I wonder where he is. That's a very good question, now I'm thinking about it. Where is Pokey the Fluffle? Now that I've got the cage, I haven't seen him for ages. Hmm. He's normally round near the bottom of the trees, isn't he? So where is he? There he is, he's down there. Okay. Let's go down. And hopefully he'll still be around there when we get down there. <sighs> Missed him. Didn't quite get the timing right, did I? Did I get him? Yes! We've got a caged fluffle! <laughs> Excellent! So, we're doing alright now. We're, we're, we're gonna... We're going to go and sort this out. So we've got Dozy's key. We need uh, Dylan's key, which is around. I've seen it, but we haven't got it yet. So let's go and sort that out. Well, we've got Dozy's key. Let's go and use Dozy's key. Anyone collect the Lego games, says Daryl? I kind of do. I've got all of the PlayStation ones and all of the Wii ones as well. I've started on the uh, Xbox 360, but to be honest with you, the Force Awakens one kind of put me off because it just didn't feel the same as the old ones, you know? It's like they'd lost something, but maybe that's just me. But yeah, I kind of enjoy them. They're, they're fun for what they are. Now we need to go further up, don't we? I finished a few of them, I have to admit. Uh, the Star Wars original trilogy ones, they were a lot of fun. I was playing the Hobbit one the other day and wow, so much fun, but so many things to to smash up and it kind of got on, on top of me a little bit. The Pirates one was great, the Pirates of the Caribbean, that was a lot of fun. Wandering around under the water with a, a boat in your head was hilarious. I've gone the wrong way again, haven't I? Yeah. There's a Star Wars one that's got a bug in it, you can't finish it, it wiped the game after a certain point. Oh, I never noticed that when I was playing the Wii version of the, uh, the complete Star Wars uh, trilogy. I have to admit that. Right, this is Dylan's area, so I'm going to leave that there for the caged fluffle because we're going to need Dylan's key. And uh, this is not the area we need to go. Let me go the other side for Dozy. Ah, the DS version, right. That's a shame, putting a and leaving a bug in it. That, that's a real shame. And we go in here, grab the star, talk to Dozy. Oh, jump. Oh, we can jump up in the cabinet, isn't it? Happened on the PS4 version as well. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's that's not what you want from a game, is it? Especially something like that where you're having a lot of fun and all of a sudden it's gone. Right, now we need to find uh, Dylan's key. 
which I have seen around. Where is it? Is that the one we need to walk off on these platforms and swing back across? I think it is, isn't it? Right, down here. Yeah, here it is. Right, so now we swing across. There he is, Dylan's key. The only Lego Star Wars on PS4 is Force Awakens. I have the Xbox version of that, and uh, it's fun. I'll grant you that, but I never finished it, and that, I never properly got into it. It's a bit weird, especially since it's the first Xbox game I had. Right, uh, Dylan thinks you are very clever using the cage to catch Pokey. He gives you a small cow to take the market. Excellent, we got the cow! Oh yes, we got the cow. So, we're doing well now. Because I know where we need to use that. And it's for the shopkeeper. So, let's head off. So, we've dealt with Grand Dizzy. We've dealt with Dora. We can't deal with um, Dozy. We can't deal with Denzel yet. Because, unfortunately, we don't have the matches. So, I think we've got everything we can from here. Grand Dizzy still has that egg. So, at least we know where that is. So, let's walk off here. And hopefully, we can get sorted next. <laughs> right, we got the ham ready for armor rog. Are we are we damaged? No, not enough. Let's wait for him to come back. Who's the ham? we go. Grab the gold, bounce over the spider, grab that. Get the uh, fruit because uh, now we're properly damaged. Jump out. Oh, come on! I landed on that! I landed on that! That's cheating! That's a cheaty cheater from Cheatington. That's just cruel and horrible and it smells. And that's the truth. Oh my goodness, right, let's uh, sort this out now. Okay, we'll move this up and up again. And up again. So where's the top corner? There it is. Move that up. Yeah, I mistimed it and land outside the hitbox. I know, but it's more... <sighs> it feels better to shout that it was wrong. <laughs> if I say I was wrong, that means I was wrong. And I don't like the idea of that because I want to be right. So, <laughs> so my version stands. <laughs> okay, let's move the wizard's head so that he's in the right place. There, he's almost finished there already now. now. Dizzy down a bit and down. Swap them over and finally swap those two bits. There we are. So we got our life back. Almost as if Codemasters knew that that bit was going to uh, lose people lives, so they put an extra life next to it. There we go. So we're doing all right. <coughs> Three lives again instead of four, but never mind. We can't have everything. So let's get into this. 178 of these... Uh, Stars left to get, so let's go and stand next to the troll and use the <coughs> use the coal gold on him. Go down to the pirate ship. I'm going to drop the rope off at the pirate ship because that seems like the best move. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow, that's faster moving than I remember. So we've got the the beer for the pirate ship now. We could do with finding some fruit. I think there's some fruit in this next tunnel, isn't there? Grab that and do 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 do. Wow. 
Even getting the fruit in there didn't help that much. Have I gone the wrong way? I think I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Oh dear. Yeah. Alright, grab the extra life since we're here. Ugh. Retro Mickey says, oh no, this area. Yeah, this area. <laughs> Has I finished moving everything around enough yet? Wow! Right, we'll put this into that corner and this into that corner and bring that down. Actually, get that down to the bottom because that is the corner. Move everything around and we'll sort things from here. So that is Theo's uh, feet. And move that up. Theo's face over and bring that up. Get him into the right position down and down and down. Theo's almost ready now, so sort the dizzy feet out. Across and down and across and across. So, uh, yeah. Up and up. Across and Theo is sorted out. Now just switch those two around and Dizzy sort as well. They should dress Dizzy in Lederhosen on this level. <laughs> so now we have four lives. We should be okay from here, providing the game doesn't crash when we pick up the matches. Reminds me of Terminator 2. Uh, the uh, Mega Drive Terminator 2 game that I have, not, not the uh, T2 Arcade, the other one. Uh, the one that uh, is LJN if you buy it in America, but is like Probe or Flying Edge or something here. I uh, played that, and my goodness. If you're playing it on the Mega PC, inevitably you would see at least one... Uh, it's dynamite that you pressed, apparently. Okay, fair enough. You would see at least one game-breaking crash where it brought up error codes and looked like it was going to the DOS prompt. It was weird. Right, uh... He's not going to want the rope, but he is going to want the cow. And he goes as a bean. Which is weird, so I'm going to switch around to get the uh, thingamajig in the front. The barrel, because we're going to need that for the pirate next, aren't we? So, I really need to find some fruit. We are struggling now. We might lose a life if I don't find any fruit soon. There's some fruit. Oh, there, there. There we are. We've got that now. Patrick says, leave the bean there for now. No, I'm going to leave it near the pirate ship because I can find that on the map. And that's why I'm taking it with me. Oh, we're at the graveyard. Well, this isn't where I want to be. Let's go back. So we're right at the other side now, Bridge Street. So we need to be right back over. So what if I go in here? This will take us down to Ca up to Castle Street, which won't actually help us at all since we're at Bridge Street. Um, oh no, we can, if we go to Castle Street, we can get down to Dock Street and then get across. So let's do that. And across again. Right, we can do this. So actually, he's a, he's reasonably easy to find, so we will leave the, the bean here. So we need to go and drop the barrel off. If we go to Bridge Street, this is not good. For, we need to be right across the other end of Castle Street. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> Because that's where... Why are the guillotines active in the middle of town? What's going on with this? This place is insane. So we need to go right down across uh, to Dock Street and then right across to the other tunnel. And then we can get up to the other side of Castle Street. <coughs> Have we been to the entire end of this and got all the stars? Yes, we have. So we're going to go across... <sighs> And 
jump across from the rat. And across again. We really need to find some more fruit. Is there any more fruit in this area? Don't think there is. But I'm going to go right across the end just in case. There isn't. Right, is this the one that we need to go back up on? No. The other one is... The middle uh, tunnel is the one we need. So we've got to go back across. Boink. Doof. And in here. So... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> 164 stars left. So 163 stars left now. Right. We're almost there. Oh. Oh. Um, right. Go back in. So this isn't the Castle Street part that we need to be at. We need to go back down and across to uh, Bridge Street. And then across to Crystal Falls. For goodness sake. Ah! So close. We're going to end up losing... We're going to end up losing a life here, so if we go to this end one, that should be the right one. So, alright, we can do this, we can do this. Right, where are we? Is this the right one? Now we're going up to Bridge Street, yes. We can do this. Deep, we've lost a life. <sighs> Not exactly what I wanted to do, but uh, we can still win, we can still win. Got to put our serious face on and just get through this. Serious face. <laughs> I can't keep the serious face up. Grab the crowbar. Right, so now everything is basically revolving around getting to the pirate ship. So we're going here. This one takes us up to Crystal Falls. And then we go down to the pirate ship. Patrick says he's won this without losing a life. Well, very, very clever of you. But I can't do that because it's not easy. <laughs> oh, good grief. I, la I took the fruit and then landed on the damage. That was the wrong way around. 159. 158 stars now. And then the pirate goes. Oh my goodness. Right, so we've got a lot of uh, stars to pick up in here. Grab the fruit to get rid of the damage. Jump across. Oh, land. Don't land on the rats. What am I doing? And across. And up. Hello to Wolfie, how are you doing? And grab that. Then, nope, wrong position. Don't drop down, don't drop down. We're, we're, we're working on stuff there, Dizzy. What are you doing? Across. And across. And swing over. Grab that. Swing over. And... Nope. That didn't work. Swing. Oh, for goodness sake, Dizzy. What are you... Get the rope. Don't drop the rope. Get the rope. What are you doing, Dizzy? Come on. Serious face, Dizzy. Oh. Get out of the way, birdie. We were doing so well there. We got across. Why didn't why didn't he use them? Was I written and standing in his wrong place? A load of games made of cardboard. How are you doing? Ah, oh, get back up the Dizzy! Come on. Oh my goodness. Ah, you've got a, a fever and the only cure is more dizzies. <laughs> <laughs> swing swing it dizzy swing it so 
why isn't Dizzy working out here? Oh, God. Okay, so that's not working. Am I in the wrong... Uh, there we are. Right, got the... What have we got here? So we've now got a portcullis winch wheel. Right, I know where to use that, don't I? Yes, we've seen the portcullis. So, if we go back across... No, don't put it down! Jump! Jump across... Oh, my goodness. If we jump out here... And put down here the winch, because we'll need that later. Then we go back in once more into the breach, dear friends! Jump! Ah! No! <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to find some more fruit, and I don't think there is any in this bit. Unless we look very carefully. There's some fruit! Grab the fruit! Grab the fruit! Come on, Dizzy! Yes! There we are. What's that? What have we picked up? That is Zack's portcullis winch handle! Interesting. Okay. Well, that's going to be useful as well. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh, we're going to end up losing a life again. I don't like this. I really don't. Oh, how do we get back out of here? Right. This is the point where it crashed last time. So we're going to grab that. And... Some sticks of dynamite. Right, we've got some dynamite now. Now the question is, how do I get back out? Because it doesn't seem to want to let me do it. So is there another exit? Can we get out another way? Is that the way to do it? I need fruit as well. I desperately need fruit now. Banana, yeah. Oh, my goodness. There. Right, we're back up. Are there any areas that we've missed where we should have got a uh, start? Yes, there are. So there's there. Okay, if I stand here and... No! I didn't want to go down there. Oh! Oh, man, come on. This is so frustrating at times. Guys, it... The, the biggest issue is that Dizzy moves so fast. That uh, is sometimes difficult to control. Yeah, we just lost another life. Because he's, he moves too quick and I can't always control him very well. Oh. Right, we've got to get back out. Which I think involves going down the second hole. Wolfie, I'm glad you're not. I'm not the only one who spotted that. All of the decorations say "lol." <laughs> like ha 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 ha, you're turning round and round. Ha 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 ha. That's basically how it is, isn't it? Right. Let's go and get that other star that we need, and then hopefully we'll get out of here. Oh, not again! Oh, 
this is getting really ag aggravating now. So, basically, Dizzy is hard to control, and as a result, it's very easy to overshoot where you need to be. So we're going around in a damn circle, simply because he's too quick compared to his 8-bit counterpart. So frustrating. Jump, and jump, and jump, right. Jump. Stand there, jump. There we are, finally got the damn thing. Now get up, go on. Some fruit, we love it. Fruit is good for you. Okay, deep breaths, we can do this. Oh, okay, we can't get up there. So, do we go further up and then jump? Is that it? We must have to. Let's check that there's anything else over there. Nothing else over there. And jump across. Right. 140... Oh, for goodness sake. Now the rats are changing course again. Right, the last question I have is, do I have to swing anywhere else in order to... I don't think we do. There's a... I think we're okay. So let's take all this stuff and go back out. Now, we need the dynamite down in the uh, the mine, don't we? So let's go and do that. Jump and jump and wait for rats. And go back on and do the bubble dizzy part. Okay, fair enough. We'll we'll drop the the winch bit next to the other winch bit. We have the dynamite. We have the rope. We're probably going to lose a life on the bubble dizzy section. Take the top. Take the top and the dynamite with you. I'm assuming you're saying rope. I'm going to take the rope and the dynamite with me, yeah. So he's making us walk the plank. Like a cheeky monkey. Oh! Oh, this is cruel! This is cruel! Oh my goodness! Oh, Dizzy, Dizzy, my friend. Oh, that's cruel. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of uh, stars we've got to get on the way up. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's get all the bubbles on the way up. So we don't have to do this again. Come on. Get up! Get on the bubble, get on the bubble, come on. Why am I not getting on the... What the hell? Why the bubble? Oh my goodness. Right, there's a bubble over there. Land on a bubble, land, land, yes. Come on, land on a bubble, land on a bubble, land on a bubble. Jump on... Uh, no. Land on, land on the damn bubbles. Come on, Dizzy, come on. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, man. Oh. <sighs> I don't like this. I really don't like Bubble Dizzy. It's not fun. Right, come on. Land on a bubble and go further up. We need to get the other star. I don't want to have to do this again, so let's uh, keep going. Another star... Another star. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's another star. Another star. 
Are there any more stars? Have I missed any? Guys, uh, if you've noticed any that I've missed, please tell me. I don't want to have to do this again. I really don't. Land on a bubble. Land on a bubble. Land. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That's just ridiculous. That is inexcusably ridiculous what they just did there. Putting all the bubbles at the side so that we missed... Oh, for goodness sake. This is re So now we're stuck again. For goodness sake. Just get on a damn bubble and get out of here. This is ridiculous. Straight back down. Straight back down again because it's not putting any bubbles where you actually are. Whoever corded this is an idiot. At least I don't drown, says uh, Retro Me. Well, we're about to run out of oxygen, so yeah, we're going to drown. There we are. So we lose a life because it doesn't generate bubbles anywhere near where you are on the level. What is the damn point? So now we're going to do it again. I honestly believe that the people who make stuff like this don't test it. They should be made to play it themselves. And if they can't do it on their second attempt, then it shouldn't be allowed. That's how I would test games. If I were in charge of publishing games, I would require the people who code it to play the entire thing through. That was inexcusable. Get on the damn bubbles. Come on, we've got a game to play here, not a mess to faff about with. And it's the same thing with the 8-bit uh, versions of this. Because if you don't hit the bubbles in exactly the right point, you don't land on them. So you can go through something that, from all intents and purposes, you appear to have stood on. So what is the point? <sighs> and it really does infuriate... I'm sorry to start shouting and getting angry at it, because it is only a game, but at the same time, it feels like it's cheating. And that's why I get so frustrated with it, because there's no reason for this. This is a platform adventure game, so why am I having to balance on bursting bubbles while they disappear right onto my my own feet? There's, there's no point to this. This adds nothing to the game. I don't like getting angry on streams. It, it feels wrong, but this shouldn't be allowed in a game. I'm very much in favour of Nintendo's policy, where it's the where Shigeru Miyamoto basically says if it's supposed to be fun. Well, this isn't fun. This is just stupid, and it's frustrating, and all it does is serve to anger and reduce anyone's enjoyment of what should be a fun thing. Right, all we need is a bubble that's near us. Final bu uh, star, jump out the... Get oh, come on! Get out of the damn thing! Right, oh, for goodness sake. Right, I am not doing that again. That is absolutely out outrageous. Right, we've got the aqualung. We can actually walk around now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Dizzy moves a little bit differently when he's in the water. It's not quite as uh, seamless. Interesting. Oh. Okay, we're out of that, so calm. What's up here? This seems different.
Is this the way? Ah, right. Okay, I'm going to drop the aqua lung here. Drop the aqua lung. And, right, I know where we are now. So, so we've got the dynamite. Let's go into the mine. Maybe we should actually go to Grand Dizzy's and grab the egg. Yeah, right. We'll go to the we'll go to Grand Dizzy's. We'll try and grab the egg, and then we'll see how far we get uh, delivering that to the dragon. Right. Okay. So we're back here now. We're in an area that we know and recognise. Oh my goodness. Right, let's let's see how we go. No, don't put the dynamite down. Dizzy, get on the lift. Hey. It controls like a git at times. So we've got one life left. Well no, two lives, including the one that we're using at the moment. Oh. Nope, gone the wrong way. Should have gone the other way. We're going up to get the uh, egg from Grand Dizzy. That's not Grand Dizzy's house. That's the long house. That's the. Uh, that's assume that's like the community hall or whatever. So go up here and across. Denzel's place. Spider, jump across, go down here, nope, uh, this way, over here, yeah, right, we're getting there now, we're, get we're getting to our Grand Dizzy's place to grab the egg. Retro Mickey says, why does the, the egg give an egg? <laughs> um... Because he's not going to give himself. It's like, I'll just stay here, Mr. Dragon, and uh, be your surrogate egg. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Patrick says, pity the Codemasters never uh, splashed out for a battery backup. Ah, Logan Clary's just seen the post that I put onto the Monday Club, Jenny's Monday Club. Uh, yes. Hornby uh, appear to have uh, been involved with the Ninja Turtles from uh, from Konami. Uh, specifically the LCD game. It's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> I was very surprised when I saw that advert. So uh, I've asked Jen to talk to one of the guys from Hornby that she knows. Who... Uh, was around at the time and may know what was going on with that. It'd be very interesting if uh, he does remember it. Oh, uh, Retro Mickey says, really? Yeah, okay. Let's pause here and let me see if I can find that uh, advert. Let me just uh, shrink this down. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So, there you are. 15 awesome handheld games from Hornby to be run. And it's the Turtles action game. It's the Turtles. There it is. It's the LCD game. So, if I bring up the main big screen, if I press the right buttons, that is, the advert is for this. The Turtles LCD game. But yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. The... But of course, if you think about it, it's a pretty good idea from a business sense to um, get into that. At the time, model railways and things that Hornby were into weren't quite as big a seller. I mean, it's coming back now, but at the time, it wasn't quite as big a seller as it had been in the past because uh, kids were getting into games and all that. So to team up with uh, someone to produce some games, that's actually a pretty good uh, idea. That makes a lot of business sense. But yeah, Jen's going to talk to her, her contact at Hornby and see if they, they have any information on, on what was going on with that. And across, and across. I'm trying to remember which way we need to go. It's not this way, but we'll grab the, the star anyway. So we've got 124 left to collect. 
like Pokemon, isn't it? We've got to catch them all. Uh, across. Uh, across and down. Nope, that's the wrong way. So, let's see if we can find a diamond and uh, not lose a life from all of this. Patrick says, to me, it looked like a competition to win the game. Yeah, yes, but why would Horn be given be given away a Turtles LCD game if they weren't involved in them? It appears that they have, they were at least uh, involved in the distribution of the game to certain um, to certain places. Uh, yes, that, that's the plan, uh, Retro Mickey, to include the LCD game and the information about it uh, for the museum. That's pretty much why I've got it. And here's the fun fact. You remember that we were talking about the LCD game the other day, and it, we turned, it turned out that there were three Turtles games? Well, there are actually four. There are four Turtles LCD games. And one of them is a balling game. Which is just weird. <laughs> it's like, Turtles Go Bowling, the LCD game. It appears to just be a balling game. That they've stuck as Turtles uh, front end on it. It's just odd. On the way back, take that axe and get the aqua lung. Deal with the bridge to get an item to wake Dozy up. Excellent. That's what we need to find. So, deal with the dynamite. There we go. There. That was excellent. That was a nice bit of animation. Jumped the wrong way. Yeah, it's a cash-in. Absolutely is a cash-in. For the, for the turtles bowling. It's like, what do kids like? Turtles. What have we got? No turtles. We've got bowling. Okay. We dropped that. What's that? A three-leaf clover? A solid gold Irish shamrock. Okay. So is the dragon happy now? Does that mean we can jump past the dragon? If I... The dragon's not going to hurt us? No? Excellent. The dragon seems happy now. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So what do we need the shamrock? I haven't found any reason for having a shamrock yet. No, it, it seems like we can't go past, but never mind. Thanks for the thanks for the confirmation there, Patrick. Oh, oh, don't like the jumping fire. There's far too many things in this game that can kill you. It's very annoying. Okay. So we're getting we're getting through it now. Is there anything else up here? Nope. Back up we go then. Not sure what we'd need the shamrock for at this point, but I'm sure we'll find out later on. So let's jump back out. Nope, wrong way. Apparently there's an Irish mascot that you need to give that to beyond you know, the graveyard. Fair enough. Well, in that case, I'll drop it off at the... Uh... Oops. Go up. I'll leave that up here. And leave that there. Let's go back down to the to the uh, beach and hello, Anthony Dickinson. How are you doing? <coughs> My goodness, it's almost seven o'clock already. Oh, oh man, I didn't see the snail. We're running out of uh... grab the grab the underwater breathing apparatus. Grab that. Uh, where is the? Uh... Nope, no fruit around. Right, we're going to have to go back up to the village and grab some fruit, otherwise we are going to run out of health. And it's just as simple as that. So before we uh, do anything else, we're going to the village, we're going to grab some, some, some fruit. And then we'll come back. Wait for the spider. Jump. that and keep going 
Right, normally wouldn't have to come back up here at this point, but, uh, well, I think we wouldn't normally because uh, it's clear where we need to go. But we definitely need some fruit. And then once we've uh, got Dizzy's health back up, we'll go and uh, deal with that bridge. Where can we find some fruit? It'll be in one of the houses. I just don't want to lose a life at this point when we might need it later. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Daisy, have you got any fruit in your house? Yes! Daisy's to the rescue. There we go. Right, now we're alright. So... Is Siri still... What?! Oh, come on! That is ridiculous. Oh. Well, we just completely lost out there. We've now used up fruit that we could have used later on. And we've lost the life that I was trying to save. So, wonderful. Just wonderful. Guys, this game frustrates me no end. For, it, it's not even a, a good thing. Like, what is it? What has it done for us? That was just ridiculous. Right. We now have a hundred and twelve. Still to get. How far is this gonna go? So it's there. Right. We need to get back on. What's this? Are they the symbols? Yeah, brass symbols. That frustrated me so much. I think there, there's no real reason for that being so obnoxious. So, unless we can find another extra life thing, which I don't believe there are anymore, then uh, we have to now do the entire game, for the rest of it anyway, on one life. I hope we can do it. I really do hope we can do it because, my goodness. Oh. Let's just keep going anyway and hope for the best. We have one life. That's it. If we die now, it's game over. I'm putting the aqualung down and the uh, pickaxe because I haven't worked out where to use them yet. Oh my goodness, guys. I love the Dizzy games. I absolutely love them. They're wonderful games. But my goodness, there's some right obnoxious stuff in them. I think... Being able to love something means that you should be able to uh, criticise the bad parts of it. And, yeah, that was one of them. The... It adds nothing to the game to have Dizzy get knocked out a little bit while he's uh, dropping. It adds nothing. We damaged? Yes, we are. So, grab that. Oh, my goodness. Jump up here. Yeah. Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Right, we're going around this way because I believe this is the best way to get up to Josie's house. And then we'll sort him out. So jump up and keep going. Right, uh, Patrick says there is a one outside Zack's Cloud Castle. Well, that's good news. We we won't be completely out of uh, lives when we deal with Zax then. So at least there's that. Oof. Oh my goodness. 
Let's do it. See. Right. How damaged are we? Not enough yet, and so we'll leave that. Go in here. And use the symbols on Dozy. Yawn, says Dozy, as the clash of the symbols wake him. Dozy offers you his old, thick rug. <laughs> so he's got he's a, got a thick rug. Okay. Um, can we... Ah, there we are. Right. So it's Treasure Island, Dizzy. Use the pickaxe to get the bubble to go. Right, fair enough. Right, might as well sort ourselves out there and jump. That rug is used in Zack's Castle in a similar way to how it's used in Prince of the Yoke Folk, or is it Fantasy World? Might be Fantasy World, my goodness. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So I'm going to leave the rug over here. No, don't leave it behind a plant. We won't find it. Grab and grab and drop the rug there. Okay. Right. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and across jump off of that and we're going back down to the water do, 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 do. Do, and you think there's an extra life in the castle street castle well, that's good news hopefully we'll be all right then we'll be able to get through this No, don't land on the cr No, oh, for goodness sake, Dizzy, what are you doing to me? Whoa, that uh, swordfish moves quick, doesn't it? What the? 108 left. He doesn't move well underwater. It's it's a little frustrating at times. Right, let's uh, see how well we do here. Oh, there's a definite reference to Treasure Island, Dizzy. <laughs> There's a... Oh, a treasure chest? He has a tendency to roll a lot more underwater. Wow. Wow, he really does roll more underwater. That's amazing. The amount of uh, attention to screwing the player over that they've put into this is quite significant. Right, what have we got there? An empty treasure chest. Okay. 104. Right. 103. We're, we're doing okay with these uh, things. We've only got 103 left to go. Right, I can see there. That that's probably where we're going to use the... Yeah. Treasure Island Dizzy. <laughs> it's a classic. We actually finished that one. And to be honest with you, if we can finish Treasure Island, we can finish anything because it's that kind of game, isn't it? What we got here? So keep out the way of the butterfly. We have a large bag of salt. Interesting. Hmm. Let's have a look around here. A large bag of salt. What on earth? So we've just gone int. That made no sense whatsoever. We went into a, a door on on a sandy beach. Use the box back there, okay. We were Oh of course it's Treasure Island Dizzy again. So you use the box the same way we used it in Treasure Island. So we went from a, on a sandy beach to just in the middle of a mine. That, made, that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh. <coughs> what well, was that? A magic portal? <laughs> Use it against that wall. Oh. I'll go back down and we'll have a look. 
That was insane. Do 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 do. I'm going back down then, uh, Patrick. We'll have a look. Oh my goodness, we're about to lose out. Use it against the water on the way. Right, so uh, it is actually the way I was going. Right, okay. We need to get food into Dizzy very, very quickly. We have almost no... Yeah, this is what you get for a lengthy... The problem is, if I reduce the amount of lag between uh, what you're seeing and what I, I'm getting the comments from, then the quality of the stream goes down massively. To the point where, technically, if I reduce any of the internet connection by weather or anything, it would be practically unwatchable. So, that's just how it is. We have to go for the lengthy lag, just in order to make it uh, viewable. Right, we have to get food into Dizzy. There is no question about this. Dizzy needs to eat. Dizzy needs food. Elf has shot the food. <laughs> Come on. We've got to do this. Oh my goodness. Right, so we're going... No, we're going this way. Because there's food around Grand Dizzy's house, I believe. There might even be food in here. Yes. There we are. Right, we're okay now. Right, we're okay now. We're okay, we can do this. Right, we're going back down. Now we're going back to the beach. We're going to use the uh, treasure chest the same way we do in Treasure Island Dizzy. To be able to boost ourselves up to get past a certain section. So, it's just a reference, basically, isn't it? But before we go any further, I need a drink, because my mouth is drying out from all that shouting at Bubble Dizzy. Can't believe we lost a life on Bubble Dizzy. Just through, oh, not getting, and that's the worst part, the most frustrating part, as anyone who uh, studies uh, gaming mentality will tell you, if you give a person the illusion of control and then take away that control, you will frustrate and it will be uh, anger-inducing frustration. Because if we're playing a game and then all of a sudden it feels like the game is making sure that we can't win, that causes frustration and a lot of anxiety. Oh. Which is why I say people who code games should have to test them themselves. They don't have to be the only tester, but they certainly do have to be able to play it and finish it. Oh, I didn't see the snail. Now we've got problems again. We're halfway dead. I can't go on. I've got... I've got to go back up. I've got to go back up. We've got to get uh, more food in it. We can't risk it. We're on our last life. We can't risk Dizzy dying at this point. So I've got to go and get more food in him. Just because we didn't see that one snail. So, we've got to find some more food for him. Sorry, guys. Sorry to be uh, delaying uh, getting on to the next part. But if we don't get food into Dizzy and I make one mistake, then that's it. He's gone. And we have no game. Dizzy's hood should have something in it. Mark holds. <laughs> Hello, Mark. I uh, says I'd like to stream by F and Jeff too much, and I'm very ist. <laughs> My biggest issue with uh, so I uh, I try not to swear, but I get close sometimes, and it's the random factor of certain old games and certain new games as well. The newest stuff isn't uh, isn't without uh, its random factors and frustrating uh, game mechanics, let's put it that way. And Je Jenny can attest to just how much I swore at uh, the Division 2 and the Division 1 with certain bits where all of a sudden 
it was like the game just went, no, you're not winning. And it would just stop you. So, yeah. Frustration is high in certain games. Let's put it that way. Right. We're going to use that uh, treasure chest now. And uh, we've got an entire empty health bar now. So we should be okay. Sorry, not empty, empty health bar. Empty damage bar. So we should be okay. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and see how we do here. Do, 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 do. Ah! Oh, come on! Immediately! Just because he rolls different in the water. <sighs> you see what I mean? It's like, come on. What if I go down that hole? What happens? I'm not sure I want to find out, to be honest with you. Oops. Okay, well, that's not what I was expecting. This isn't what I was expecting at all. How far does this fish go? Just to there. Right, if I follow it back over, I should be able to stand on this and get the height to jump over it again. No! Jump over it! <gasps> oh my goodness! I can't get back out, can I? I can't get back out of here. I'm stuck. All because I accidentally... I didn't even want to come in here. I accidentally walked too far while trying to get in a bubble. I'm stuck. Guys, we've lost. It's a There's no way I can get out of here. Yeah. Well, that's it. I need the flippers. But I didn't know that going in. And I didn't want to go in either. I just... Because he moves differently underwater, when I was trying to set myself up to get on the uh, bubble, ended up in an area that you just can't get out of. Well, that is wonderful. Guys, I'm sorry. That's it. That's it. I'm, we don't have time to finish because I've now got to prepare to go on the live stream tonight for on the question of track. So I can't keep going. If you just fell in there, you could have jumped out. Well, I didn't know that. And that's another problem with these older games. Oh, guys, I'm sorry to end on a, such a downer there, but what can we do? We'll try it again another time, but to be honest with you, on Monday I want to go back to playing Quake for a bit. Uh, just have a break from this. Okay, sorry guys. I hope you've enjoyed it either way. It has been a fun game for the most part, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Peace out. Uh, hopefully I'll see some of you later on tonight for Question of Trek, but if I don't, that's no problem. And I'll see you on Monday for Quake. Take your... <sighs> Take good care of yourselves, guys. Have a great evening. I'm off to get something to eat because I think I need it. Take, a good, take care of yourselves. Have a great night. Bye.